that effective. <gasps> oh, what? they go it anyway, Wolf. They go, they go it anyway because, again, this is a wombo combo of snatching and killing or a cheeky meta. But anyways, SRG picking up the Eve. Even though Wolf didn't like it, Fireflux picked up the carry. So with that being said, casters, you guys seen the draft. Now it's your turn. You're absolutely right, analysts. This one, it's kind of tough to say. They've basically broken all of Wolf's rules, every single one of them, and yet their composition is basically just looking to fight in that kill box. Speaking of the box, we've only really seen Eve make a showing in the oh, group. Check this out. Apex. Oh. Forced and Sikais to respond. There's the retribution. Now Turtle should all be but secured for Fireflox. Yeah, and I mean, Sikais, he's just trying to get the flicker out of there. Ooh. Here you? we go! The Eve just dashing on through. Pulls the first blood from the NZ. Yumes gets punished, though. I, I guess that's a trade for both. I mean, Pyrrhic victory here for Fireflux. But wait, Alien's still standing. Crab gets hit with the onward. He does take down Alien, and he pays the price with his life. Oh, so close. They might find out of the train. They're still going. Sick, guys. Jumps on through. Stormy, can he survive? Gets the Terrify. Oh, no, he dodges it. Sick, guys. Is there enough damage? That's the jump. The box unite the end. He finds him. Can he get one more? Stormy's gonna live. Oh my goodness. But this is a fighter, Roger. Now wait, the crash on the Stormy. Tempest of Blade stolen away, knocking out the Eve. That is one man down. Silango Red Giants missing a member. Fireflux Esports making a beeline straight for the turtle. Early Puissance, can Yumes deny? Oh, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to deny this, especially without the back. Oh! Divine Judgment by Apex 47 finds one. Cramp Flakers away. Sunshine moving forward, flickering. To or rather, no, just dash it on forward. Yumes goes down too. Two. Double kill for Sunshine! This is, oh. this is not good. This is not good because these kills are getting funneled into both Rosa and as well as Sunshine. Of course! Yep. Sunshine won the way in. Another Divine Judgment welcomed by a penalty zone and the pull. Yume's very low. Tempest of Blades up into the air. Yume's taken out already. Rosa scored in by Stormy. Aliens in trouble. Penalty zone by Cram. Stopping the exit. And that's a win. Selangor Giants, two for one. They trade up on this one. But in the meantime, wait. Oh, Sunshine getting some really great damage onto All the that. possibilities. Oh, the Flicker Divine Judgment catches one. Yumes gets the immortality pop. Stormy swiping away, swiping away. Yumes. Oh, gonna get that. I'm offended and lives. They walk away from it. So Rosa finds one. Trade for Cram, one for one so far. Down goes Rosa. Double kill for Innocent. It guys falls. Couple of pinwheels chasing oh. down. Innocent with a shutdown. Triple kill. Four cent! What a... Oh my goodness. What a nasty Man, I, this is a build that I would like to study more. I want to see more of this. I mean, Wait, on it. continues. Rosa with a stolen... Oh, oh RW. Another one goes. Stormy falls. And just like that, they force out a Tempest of Blades. Silangora Giants. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turtle turned into a lord. This is amazing. The Turkish are doing it. Can they blitz it? Oh, massive win. Divine Judgment one more time. Sikai's falls. Salamco Red Giants are fighting out of their breath. Time. It's it's nasty. But now they're... Oh, no. The Flicker and the DJ one more time. The RWM coming in from Stormy. They're fighting inside SRG's kill box. That's why Apex 47 is going to fall. As Ooh. well as Alien. They're punishing the Turkish. And down goes Cram. Sunshine gets one. Two for one so far. They do lose out on the top lane tier two. And... As well, mid lane tier one, and oh no, Sekais needs this. Grand Theft Purple, ah. Fireflux Esports. All right, it's tough to say that SRG traded up now, losing that purple buff. It means you lose a lot of influence across the map. The upcoming fights, I don't think they should take it just yet, but if they can crack open this map, man, they are just trading back and forth. Look at this. Oh, Rosa, forced to use a stolen Tempest of Blades. I'm offended. Coming in from Yumes, Yenzi crashing in, leaning hard into this engage. M47 with the conceal. Which target is he looking for? All right, I'll take this one right here. Yumes gets the knock up. Sunshine serves up a kill. Yeah, I think that SRG right now, Yums, he might be overheating a little. I think he's making it too. Oh, I'm offended. Apex 47 in trouble. The RWM, the answer. Back Ram coming in with a penalty zone. Sakai finds Apex. Cuts his wings. Takes him down. Traded out for Cram. One for one. Yums gets his. Immortality pop. Still alive, but just barely. In goes Alien. The backline. Sunshine's down. Yums as well. Two for two so far. Kenzie and Rosa chased down by Innocent. Alien. Playing footies with Stormy. Oh, this is a bad look for Fireflux Esports. Alien might fall here. There's a knockoff. Where's the damage? Oh, Down no! goes Alien. Oh, Innocent still alive, but just barely. The Rose Queen keeps on going. Stormy 
still alive. Sekai's with the kill. Could this be a wipeout? TNZ still standing, but not so long. Double kill for Sekai's. Woo. All an, fall down. An unofficial wipeout. No. So bold of them to actually continue. With the unity. False engage from the back. I'm offended from Yumes. Lord here at half health. I think they want Alien to use his ult. They want him to use the Primal Wrath at some point of time. They're going to creep oh. around the right side. Oh, 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 oh. Lord here at the 10th of its health. Can they force up oh, the no. air? Rolls up from the backside. Crown with the penalty zone. Already, the Lord secured. That was a blade stolen away. Down goes Innocent. This is looking bad. You've taken out. Cram gets the immortality pop. Look at Sakai's going straight for the proxy. Three for none. Gideon, three for none. I mean, they did score the Lord. Anytime Apex has a divine judgment, it's trouble. Oh no. Alien flickering out. Get caught by the I'm offended. Immortality pop through. Sunshine gonna go down here. Pop in the wind of nature. Gets the immortality pop. Look at the back line. Innocent found out by TNZ. Sakai's takes out Sunshine. Currently the trade two for one. Can Fireflux Esports equalize here? They're going to try. So Kai's just going to get out of there, but I think Yumes should fall down. Wait, Tansy, wait, hold on. Oh, he got cornered. Oh! Force use the winner crown. There's a juggle. Still alive, but not for long. And that might be it. Another winner crown trigger. And an immortality. And the juggle. Rosa flickering on out. And Sekai spots the queen after the stolen Tempest of Blades. As soon as they land, they get taken out. Apex 47 left. This could be it. I mean, they're still street fighting. They're still brawling. Arr. It hasn't ended. And an RWM to break immortality as they're cracking on the inhibitors. Oh, the flicker by Apex 47 saving himself. Alien He's going to need every little bit of kit. Oh, the concealed play. He gets bursted down. And so will the base. How was that an end angle? How is that even an end angle? Who can even foresee that far ahead? Maybe synergy isn't what SRG has. Maybe they're just clairvoyant. It's, I, I can't. This game has been action packed. Usually when you see those later stages of the game, they start chilling out, right? They're waiting for, oh, super long death timers, big consequences, and they're like, discard that, fight. They want sure engages. They want something that I'm, I'm sure it's going to pay off. I know this is the right angle, but no, they, they were playing on the fly. They were just the like, vessel's good. I mean, vessel. like, it's up to him which skin he wants to use, but honestly, this is a pretty spicy matchup here because we're seeing a Bruno. We're seeing an Amon. The Amon we haven't seen so far, so for the casters casting this game, good luck for this one because I don't know who's going to win. Well, boys, I'm going to say, not going to spoil what skins they're going to be using just yet. For the most part, we're seeing different priorities in where and how they want to actually attack the map from both of these teams. It's an interesting spread of resources. Once again, on the desk is going to be me getting Q with Leo doing the play-by-plays. -play we head into the land of Dawn. Get excited because after game well, number... A little bit in the earlier stages, but hey, let's see. Oh, oh. Alien in trouble. Tempest of Blades up. Going to fall here despite being underneath his tier 1 turret and now Apex 47 fighting the good fight. SRG starting it quick. Yeah, I mean the momentum and especially the rotations are really, really fast from the side of SRG. And I think that Apex 47 got the read just a little bit too late. Let's see if they find the trade. Here we go. TNZ pulls the trigger on the retribution. Pops Innocent. Gives a kill over to Sunshine. Unfortunate. And I mean, that's just the way it goes, right? Unless you, you want to secure this first objective. Cram, ooh, put down a two-thirds of his health, gets a good amount of damage, and now Tianzi trying to burst him down. Turtle out a third of its health, Tempest of Blades up by Sekai, oh. all of the swords. Has, 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 oh, he goes down! Alien says, you're welcome! And the pull by Yumes, gonna get taken down by Alien though, despite all of that. And Stormy blasts Apex 47 with the turtle still standing. Yep, I mean, that was, I, I don't know. And of course, just the, uh, innate chunkiness of one. Oh, oh. I'm offended the pole. Tianzi goes down. No clap back. No retaliation from Fireflux Esports here. Now three to three. SRG definitely has the advantage here in the turtle take. Still standing. <laughs> Pram and Yum's holding it. In goes the guys. Alien gets the vengeance. Proc in. Apex 47 down no fourth of his health. Getting hit by Stormy's spells. And now the turtle finally gets the attention that it wants and it needs. And there's another pull. Rosa in trouble. No. Rosa's gonna go down here. Yumes gets the kill. Turtle still up. Sekai's with the red tree. Secured. Apex 47, where you going? SOD by Sunshine. Oh. Only Procket. The answer's no. Down goes Apex 47. Stormy Why? gets a kill. Yumes as well. 
and Sunshine presses the button, but Rogo goes down just as quickly. I, I'm so confused. Why did he decide to take that? Why? Oh, well, the level diff. Oh, wait, That's a on. soft reset. I Turtle, oh, oh. barely out of range, gets the pull in and the implosion. Both tanks pulling no punches. Tempest of Blades up. Sunshine gets the SOD. Still no one home. Yums goes down. Tianzi served up a kill from Aliens. Final slash. Down goes the Kais. That's a double for Tianzi. And then another one falls. Cram, three for one, traded for Rosa. And Tianzi keeps going. Stormy. Oh, he gets it. That is a maniac. That's huge. That is so very huge. But now, I mean, Innocent, he's going to have to try here. Uh oh. Alien tracks him, finds the final slash, serves it up to Sunshine. He's not going anywhere. Mm -mm, the Thunderbell makes him re- oh, Kenzie, but now look at that. The momentum switches back. Here we go. That was a blades up. The implosion saves Sunshine, but only for a second longer, turning it into a trade. It's not bad, but they're still trading effectively from the side of Fireflux as they continue forward. Tansy now reading out even more with a Holy Crystal. Look at that build. He's full of damage. Apologize to him now. Okay, I'm sorry, Tansy. I don't know your game. <laughs> But now I do. 3-1-3. and three. All right, he's done good work to use that shield to its most uh, efficient. Oh, no! Innocent gets bursted down! Just we Ling. Beautiful things happen. Apex 47 taking this amazing bush. And now the implosion catches Innocent, but only for a second longer. The final slash by Alien. I wonder if this is enough. Oh, no. I'm offended. In comes the Kais. Down goes Alien. Apex 47 might be up next. The diversion set up by Stormy. He goes through. Cram takes out Apex 47. It's a disaster for Turkey. Wait a minute, TNZ. Do they have any, they have no idea he's there? They have no idea he's there. Rosa just needs to get some more information. Here they go. SOD and in the back line, TNZ bursting down Cram. Turtle still standing. No Lord that is innocent scores it. And now TNZ's gonna go down. Sekai is taken out by Rosa. But here comes Stormy, the forward flicker. Upwards, Fireflux Esports can defend this, don't worry. But I think that Sunshine, he needs to scale Whoa. up fast. Oh my god. Rosa with a stolen arm offended the implosion oh. from oh Apex 47. Yooms down here as well. And all SRG was thinking was, we're going to stand behind the Lord. Tempest of Blazes for the iframes. Wow, he heals back up so Whoa, they find one. Yooms gets hit by the implosion. Still alive. Alien gets the dash in the final slash. On to Stormy, innocent. Down here from the flank, kicks a few balls, Alien and Rosa's way. Now Cram gets spotted out, up against the wall, gets bursted down by Genzi, oh. two for none! Fireflux Esports calling Bottom. the shot. And Fireflux Esports will continue to take away all the resources from SRG's jungle. And now they penetrate the base. Oh, I'm offended. On to Apex 47, forcing a response, implosion on the two! And the final slash! Pop in Yum's immortality! Oh, and now they're going even harder, so guys, he needs to reset off of this. Oh no, they do get one on the back foot as Cram gets punished, overextending the diversion play. Can they find it? That's three sent over. Sunshine's in trouble. Knows that there's danger of foot. Oh, Sekais gets bursted down one more time by Genzi. Sunshine takes out Stormy. Two defenders left versus three out in front. Yumes gets taken down by Rosa. Stolen what? Tempest of Blades. What? And with that, it's just Innocent left. Innocent versus three members of Fireflux Esports. And Innocent pushes him out. Oh, oh. The item swaps to deny the kill. Tianzi refuses to give away no. the tag. And the one shot on top of it. It doesn't end. Tianzi is coming out big time. All right. Tianzi has about two HP left. Cram, the only one to defend. There's a big wave. Can he stop this? Or are we going to game three at one and a one? Fireflux Esports equalize. This has to be the greatest series of all time. I, that was wild. How much, how many times did we see the weight shift from both of these teams? How many times did we see them both just duke it out when it matters? The timings, the tempos, everything is just lining up perfectly. Even Alien agrees. I saw him just walking away, clapping. Sekais, can't believe what just happened. I'll agree with you, Gideon. Draft has been settled. I wonder if we're going to jump into the game with no issues here. But so far, a floor in for Fireflux, which is what SRG wants to avoid. But SRG, they have the Angela. So this might be a long team fight. And with that being said, we're tossing it over to the casters. 
Thank you, Atlas. Once again, back on the desk with Leo and as well as me, Gideon Q. Yeah. We're going to be taking care of you guys because this one, it's going to be a little different compared to the first two, right? Both have pretty similar curves in terms of power spikes, but at the very least, the synergies between Ling and as well as Angela is going to be the main driving force here. Now more than ever, I... this, both sides. Hopefully, oh. uh, ooh, good, good reaction time for TNT. Whoa! All right. Interestingly enough, they want to commit hard on that. And that's four sent over to take down TNZ. The response from Fireflox Esports is a better death strike, but Silango Ranger has leaned hard into the aggression, taking down Rosa. One more time, maybe even able 47. And they indeed do. Three, four, non straight into that plate in mid lane. An alien trying to do some damage control. Stop the bleeding. Oh. Yumes gets pulled in. I'm offended. The onward, the takedown. Alien gets a kill. Keeps going. The vengeance. All right, Fireflux Esports out of their breath here. Oh, oh. another one! Stormy Solo! Oh. This is one basic! And the Blazing Duet, can Alien survive? The answer is yes to their strike. Push Ooh, good. it. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, down bottom. Oh. The stun on the Innocent. How far can oh. they dive? In goes TNZ. Tempest of Blaze knocking up TNZ. He's taken down. Sunshine takes a few hits. In comes Sekai from the back. And Sunshine, healing up a bit, but no, there's not much Apex 47 can do. SRG trade out. In the previous game, you gave us two prong attacks, and worse yet, our draft didn't exactly give us answers. Oh my goodness, where did he go? Wait, how far Humes ahead is Innocent? got the two man onward Earth Shatter, and then the rest was history. Tempest of Blaze defensively out. That's just how far ahead SRG is, man. 6k ahead, 6k gold. That's a, what, two items on each core. But that's what I was thinking it was coming from Sakai. It's not Innocent specifically. I guess he was max stack on top of it. We'll see in the item list in just a little bit, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, Fireflux are able to defend their inhibitors. They can't just give away these for free. This is uncorrected. 1,000 ahead of Sunshine at Huge. this point of time with the full Trinity build. Huge. I mean,. Oh, here we go. We'll talk about it later. The fight happens. Yumes gets taken out. And suddenly in the back line, they die. Amex 47. Sick guys. And Stormy. Stormy and Sick guys. Them is a blade in the back looking for TNZ. Alien has already fallen. A 1 for 3. Massive gains for SRG. Will, will not be enough to clear out these waves. Cram and Yumes catches a few hits. And no. Interestingly enough, I think we're approaching that fulcrum, that apex of Five Lost Esports' is power spike where maybe they do survive maybe it doesn't cost them too much to actually just clear the waves and force out an odd angle from Zilangor Giants in comes Cram and Yumes and guys and the Blazing Duet inside the base and as it takes down the turret Alien put down a quarter of his health so it's Apex 47 the Heart Guard onto the Marksman they keep on going, clearing the waves. Fireflux Esports still alive. Honestly, great stuff from Fireflux Esports. I knew that they had decent high ground. Uh, minutes is approaching the ultra late game, but this took a while. It took a very long time. And that's why Yums is just absorbing the damage while Innocent is maintaining his stacks. Oh, oh, the flicker onward, Earth Shatter combo. Sunshine answers back. Blazing the wit on to Innocent after the heart guard. And they do take out Sunshine. Alien falls as well. The jump in from Cram, and that's about it. Oh. TNZ falls as well, and it's just Rosa standing left. The queen shall soon see the base fall because SRG have set up a wave in mid and in top. What can Rosa do? I mean, uh, Rosa is gonna have to try, right? For their airstrike should be coming back up at some point, but nah, it's over. That's it, that's too much momentum. GG well played to SRG. And what an incredible stance from Fireflux, despite the entire game getting beaten down. They managed to stabilize and just one singular bad fight and an incredible engage coming in from Yums just to put them out. The invincible titans of Malaysia are now at match point. And I think you're right. Yums did the very perfect thing of taking them off of their footing. Like, for the first time, Five Rocky Sports in this, what, almost 20 minute game. They put the Edith in the room, get the CC. Use on. I was All right. Yeah. That's yeah. the point. Well, for the casters, you guys have seen the draft. SRJ, I kind of feel like they've gotten a very comfortable draft here, but Fireflux, picking up the Julian, Yu Zong, Moskov, as well as this, this Angela, there's a lot of potential, and this is an S-tier draft coming in from both teams. And with that being said, Leo as well as Gideon, it's your turn. 
It's a fire sale between both of these teams taking some of the best heroes in the meta as we know it right now. But with Julian and the way that Fireflux have designed this composition, they could potentially bait SRG into unfavorable fight. Steal away that small know. camp and they jump onto him. Again, execution. It has to be on point. All of these flickers is essentially what made me say, hey, they have to Check be... Once again, another fight. Oh, nice. The implosion onto you. The hard guard, the answer, trying to save TNZ. And he will walk okay. away. Scot free. Down goes the Kais. Yums, despite the amazing setup, does not have much follow through. Fireflock still gets a kill on the way out. Sakai's falls again. Honestly, unfortunate for Sakai's. Oh, the flicker implosion underneath tier one. Shoving them out through the oh. old from Stormy. And now they shut down the end. The double kill for Innocent. Alien a little too late to save the show. But at least he saves the tier one. Your breath is just, it's so good, right? It, it forces everybody to just back away. Wait, hold on. Cram? Hey, oh, is he oh, able is he trying to steal it? I'm offended. Pulling them in, TNZ gets the ult on him, looking to take advantage of all these low HP members of SRG. Oh, wow. Double kill for Sunshine, and they're going to keep going. Apex 47 traded out already, could have gotten even more, but again, these teams. Yeah, tempo and momentum, especially oh, can break it down. Apex 47, despite getting the ult in, gets popped by Sekai's heart guard and ult on the alien, knocking him up the tail whip, able to. Keep Innocent down, but not stop the implosion coming in from Humes. He gets popped by Rosa, just the same. Sunshine, trying to protect himself from Cram in the front lines, though Alien still going, gets a double melt, Stormy down, and Cram, can he save himself? Can he get out of here? The answer is oh. no, not around three members of Fireflox Esports, and this puts the Turkish in such a great position. Here to down bottom, which might be the last bastion for Innocent to try and get some farm, and now he's in trouble! Oh, wow! Despite oh. his goal, oh, the shot, the shot got him on his way away. The shot really beamed him down, right? You see him get hit by the onwards. The proc happens here, and it's already too late. And the, the projectile for the shot didn't even really show because it was right on his tail. And now Cram is in trouble. Apex 47 taken out. Oh, the wrath of that turret. Holy shield still standing. Keeps Salango Red Giant's base alive. For the Radiant Armor. And I think at that point, it's going to be really tough to play. But at the same time, right? Oh, no. oh, you talked about Apex. All right, he's still alive. Heart Guard as well? Oh, here we go. The front lines brought itself to your face. That's Alien versus two or three members. And all this while, it was just to keep Salango Red Giant's out of there. Sekai's looking for the angle, looking for the steal. The front line. Oh, oh. Innocent takes out Rosa. Yes, he secures. The Lord, oh. and now the fight continues. Sunshine's about to get clapped here. Down he goes, three for none. Fireflux get the Lord, but SRG walk away with three. Keeping a tab on a cram, the SOD hits, the knock up the tail, oh. the hard guard. They keep going, Stormy goes down. Cram gets a few hits on him. Oh, Fireflux Esports, the back line is a little too slow. Yum gets the implosion wait, in, wait. makes it last a little longer. Tianzi takes down Cram, two for none. Three for none, Alien takes down Yum's. Innocent running from Alien. Innocent running from Alien. Another heart guard coming through. Can he get him with the love waves? Can he get him with the puppet on the strings? Sekai's on another part of the map completely. Innocent jumping oh! through, but Rosa gets the puppet on the strings and down goes Innocent, but only for a second longer lasting. Kenzie secures the kill. Four for none. Uh, I think it's far because they bought down, so but here we go. This could be the beginning of the end here for both of these teams. All right, massive wave in mid. Another one up top. Stormy flickering on forward, popping the ult, and they're all set in place. Sunshine working on the Lord. SRG on the rest of Fireflux Esports, and Fireflux oh. sends them out. Sekai is with an immortality at about a tenth of his health. Yum's taken down by Sunshine. Stormy in trouble. Proc in that passive. Gets hit by the Tail Whip on the back end. 360. Dragon move by Alien. And now Cram gets hit by the Puppet on the string. Knocked stop and taken down. Alien and a double kill. And now they've got a wave down mid as well as bottom side as well. Sakai's will secure his purple buff, but at this point of time, Fireflux may have an angle to end this game, and you can see them rushing for at least an inhibitor. It's almost unnecessary, but that's all he could have done to at least stand the chance in defending Fireflux. He's Sports pushing through mid, pushing through top, and there's only two of them here. Mid lane oh. gonna go down. Flu, pushing forward. Oh, I can't find the words because we're about to go to game five. 
Sekai is taken down. There's a wave. Yoom's looking to push it out of here, but it's not going to happen. Oh. Two and two. The Turkish take us to two and two. We're going to game five. It's a full match point here between both of these regions. You can see the relief coming out from Fire Flux as well. Both of these teams fighting tooth and nail for every single moment. What an absolute banger of a game. A hundred and... Okay, I predicted it. I don't believe that Humes is, uh, you know, if Humes plays it, I don't know. I mean, it's easy. It's just not a Humes special, I would say, but maybe they believe in it. What? You know what, casters? I got to ask you guys. What do you believe in, right? So that's the question of the day. We're going to throw it over to you guys for the final match of the knockout stage for today. Take it away. Alien, he ain't fallen for it. Great game sense coming in from him, but at the same time, 10 more seconds until we do see the very first turtle spawn. Yep, they're denying Alien the stacks on his EXP. So that's oh. gonna be first blood drawn. Sekai means business. Wow, utilizing that tempo. And all of this because they chunked out Apex 47. How does that know. change? And now look, they're cornering Apex 47 in Sunshine. Am I correct or something that they're just cornering Apex? Like they just wanna take Apex down. Zaman Force committed already. Yum's here, popping the blue. Oh, they gotta get out. Look at this, Yanzi coming in from the angle. Apex still alive, the knockout. Stormy taken out. Didn't even get to use his black shoes or his Purify. Mm -mm. Cole plating falls into the hands of Sunshine at this point in time. And I think that SRG, they don't mind this. Wait. Uh-oh. Here comes Alien coming in. Full combo no. spin with a Petrify. No one home. Gets Yum's. Alien draws blood. And they continue. There's the jump, the Lycan pounce. Securing that little wander is Fireblocks. Oh, wow. Not just that. After that push. Oh, no. Sunshine's in trouble. Diamond Force dropped in here. Oh, innocent. Popped in. The rest of SRG did not lean harder than that right now, especially since Fireflux Esports feel their aggression coming online. Storm, he's still alive. There's the knockup. Where's the damage? Rose secures another Black Dragon form by Alien. Courting off three. Gonna land on the other side of this wall. Keep Going straight mechanics. And now the Black Dragon four plus the Heart Guard. Who are they gonna find? The Wild Charge on the one! Stormy pops the black shoes. Still has a Purify. Down goes Sunshine. Here's a late entry by TNZ. Oh. Down goes Alien. Can TNZ get it? Enhanced everything. Not enough to squell. Salango Red Giants, they get three for none. Man, this is kind of crazy because now it's coming down to who presses their buttons. RG side, they need to convert this through structures and they find one bot tier one and even Apex 47 trying to delay the potential inevitable here in mid tier one. Uh-oh, Dienzi gonna have to face the Wrath of Innocent and he goes down, Zaman Force underneath tier one. Up top, that's Cram just working on that top lane tier one as for his auto attacks. And that's what makes these all-in engages from Fireflux Esports a coin flip at best. Wild Charge spent in by Apex, answered by Zaman Force. Now the Lord has spawned. Here comes Alien. There is no hard guard. Oh, here it is, spent in, plus the full-on combo. Down goes Humes. And they're still going. 2v2, make that a 4v2 as Cram enters the bush. Stormy still has his ult here. Oh. Can't press it, Cram barely alive. And Innocent forced to back. Out. As you mentioned before, it's a battle of inches between the two. Uh-oh. Oh. TNZ checking in on the Lord. Sees that it's a non-starter. And now Silangora Giants go from kill to kill, objective to objective. Innocent, a one-man doorstop. Fireflux Esports cannot cross mid lane anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be him. Uh-oh. TNZ gets a oh. taste of Innocent's blade. And that is going to be Denzi retreating. Oh my goodness, Alien in the man. back line. Even before he can draw a line, he gets taken out. That is a one off. The folks in the Amazon Arena know what's up. They feel it. The end might be nigh. That's a push in mid. It's Tier two so goes. Holy Shields popped in mid and bottom. Lord still taking that slow push up top, taking his time. And that's going to be the penetration. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. I mean, Fireflux Esports are just giving this away. They don't exactly have the greatest wave clear in the world. And SRG are taking full advantage of this. If anything, they have pretty bad wave clear. Abysmal at that because they have to full on commit. They're better at team fighting than they are at managing waves. And now all three lanes are crashing into their base. Silango Red Giants can smell oh! it. And there's Cram with the ammo offended. Down goes the ENZ. To all the Salmon Force, double kill for Sikais. And that's it. Apex Force 7, the only one left. Another wave. SRG continue their streak. One, all three, and counting. This has been a marathon. 
series of beautiful showing of Mobile Legends in the current meta, and SRG have done it. That's GG well played for our Malaysian representatives, but that doesn't take away anything from this Turkish squad. They are the ones you need to keep your eyes on. They are the ones that you need to keep your eyes for M6. I'm at a loss for words as to how close this was. And I'm pretty sure a good chunk of SRG's fans thought that their streak was ending here. It would have come at the hands of the Turkish representatives. But no, SRG moves on through the brackets. Thank you.